Hi, my name is Chris Lee. I'm the executive chef at Nushagak River Adventure Lodges. And uh, today we're gonna shoot a quick cooking video And I'm gonna show you guys a really simple pasta dish that we make at the lodge quite often. And it's really simple, it's just five ingredients. It's smoked salmon, it's one egg plus one egg yolk. It's about three tablespoons of butter, salt, and pecorino romano. Now this dish is based on the carbonara dish that we've all heard of and everyone's, everyone's had it. Uh, with the exception being instead of using the, the classic guanciale, um, we're just using some of the leftover smoked salmon that we that we tend to collect off the board when we, we do appetizers in the evening. So uh, I came up with this dish. I put it on our blog. I had a few emails. Um, people were asking about the technique and even though it's a simple dish, the technique can be a little tricky. So um, we're gonna start with some spaghetti. I've got some water boiling over here. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is just twist the spaghetti and drop it. And that's gonna keep it from sticking when you're cooking your pasta. Now, traditionally, when you season your pasta water, um, you know, the old rule of thumb is as salty as the sea, but because the pecorino has salt and the salmon's gonna be a little bit salty, we're gonna back off the salt just a little bit. But anyway, we're gonna let this boil for about eight minutes. And meanwhile, while this is boiling, we're gonna start the base from our sauce. Now, to start the base from the sauce, all we really need is butter, and salmon. And in this dish, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna do something that isn't traditionally served in carbonara, but I, I like to add a little bit of vegetable for crunch. So I've just got some asparagus tips and some spring peas. So we're gonna start the pan on a low heat. And while that's heating up, we're gonna get the base for the sauce ready. So as I said before, it's for two people, it's one egg plus one yolk. And what you wanna do is you just wanna take some cracked pepper just get a good amount of pepper in there. And then I have some pre-grated pecorino cheese already. And I'm just going to put in about a quarter of a cup. And what you're looking for is the sort of a pasty consistency. So just kind of stir that up. Hopefully you guys can see this here. Try to get a better look at it. A little bit more. But you want it kind of thick. And one thing to remember when I do this dish, I always start with room temperature eggs. So my eggs have been sitting out for about an hour. Anyway, so that's the base for the sauce. So we're gonna just let that sit. Now that our pan's warmed up, we're just gonna take part of the butter. We may not use it all. So just set that back to the side. We're gonna let that butter heat up in the pan. Meanwhile, stir your pasta, make sure none of it sticks. All right, so we got, we got the base for the, we're gonna saute the vegetables and we just wanna warm the salmon. We don't really wanna get it too hot. It's already cooked. Check on our pasta, make sure that's really good. That's looking great. All right guys, so now I'll show you what I got going on here. So I got the butter, it's just barely starting to foam. And at that point, I'm just gonna put in the peas and the asparagus. Like I said, we're not sauteing it, we're just trying to warm it through. And it's important to keep this pan warm. You don't, you don't want it hot, because when we, when we start making the sauce, if the pan gets too hot, we're gonna scramble the eggs. So I've got this between medium and medium low setting. And you can hear it's, you know, it's just barely, it's just barely sauteing. Anyway, we got our pasta going, so that's almost done. So I got a strainer set up in the sink. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drain off most of the water. We wanna keep about, I'm gonna say probably a quarter of a cup. And we're gonna reintroduce that pasta water back into the pan with the vegetables, so. 
The pasta's looking really good. If it feels a little sticky, it needs a little bit more time. I prefer my pasta a little bit more al dente, and that's fine. Whatever you want to do, however you like your pasta, the important thing is save the pasta water. Don't throw that away. And I'm going to just show you guys. Hopefully you can see this. But the vegetables aren't sauteing. They're just kind of bubbling a little bit in that butter. You know, like I said, I have it on, on a low to medium heat. Now at this point, we're going to add the salmon. We're just going to add the salmon. And we're just going to slightly warm it up. Let our pasta finish cooking. They say we're just warming it up. And then I'm just going to set it right here on this heat pad so you guys can see what I'm going to do next. The next thing I'm going to do, so I'm going to turn the heat off. And like I said, we're going to drain most of the pasta water, but not all of it. So we want to reserve. Like I said, I'm going to reserve about a quarter of a cup. I'm going to set that to the side so you guys can see. And then I'm just going to add the pasta to the pan. And that's okay if a little bit more water gets in there, we can boil that out. That's not a big deal. All right, back on the stove we go. We're going to bring that back to a boil. Make sure that the salmon's nice and warm. Now the reason why we use the pasta water is because we want the starch to emulsify with the egg yolks and the butter. And that's where the sauce comes from. So now we're going to take our egg mixture. That's going to go in the pan and we're going to stir it up and just keep it moving. And you don't want it too hot at this point. Because if you get it too hot, like I said, you're going to scramble the eggs and then you're going to have to start all over. So anyway, if you, I don't know if you can see this, but the sauce has started to develop now. And it's creamy. And a lot of people think that in a carbonara dish, there's cream in it. And it's actually not. When you make it right, and you get the consistency right, it's very, it's very, the texture is like velvety. It's, it's, and it's really rich. So at this point now, because we have egg in there, we're going to go back to the stove, and I just want to cook it for about 30 seconds, just to make sure that this egg is cooked. I don't want to get anybody sick. Now at this point, the pasta's all but done. I'm going to season it a little more fresh pepper. I'm going to add a little bit more of the pecorino. And now we're ready to plate it. And it's just that easy. It's such a simple dish. It's so delicious. My wife really loves this dish. And like I said, it's, it's a great way to sort of use up some of your leftover smoked salmon. Um, or even if you got salmon from last season, you know, the other thing you could do is you could bake that salmon off and you could pull the meat like I did with the smoked salmon. And you could, you could add guanciale. And all you have to do is you just get a really nice piece of guanciale you dice it up into little like eighth inch pieces, render that in the pan first, dab the oil, and just make it the exact same way. So anyway, and I'm gonna finish it with just a little bit more pecorino and some chive. And I'm gonna enjoy my supper. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully we see you guys on the noosh. Everyone stay safe out there and uh, we'll take care.